So, dinner from yesterday, didn't happen. Day got away, ended up into other things. So, we're doing that today. So, we're gonna do our um, buffalo chicken, but we're gonna do it more of a competition style. You know, we're gonna debone it, we're gonna roll it up, get everything nice and tight, you know, do the pan thing, everything. So, I'm going to uh, get them deboned, get them rubbed out, and uh, let them rest until it's time to go on the pit. And then I'm gonna smoke them first. Then we're gonna pan them, all that other good stuff. You know, some buffalo sauce. We're gonna be using the Hell Diver today. Tactical calories, they're some awesome buffalo sauce. Um, and that's about it. We'll be doing some twice baked potatoes on the pit, using the beast again today. Um, doing some corn on the cob. So just kind of a, the meal from yesterday. So let's get to it. Got some uh, some nice thighs going on here. Walk through one. I'm sure everybody's seen this a million times. Basically, find your uh, find your bone. And what I like to do is just run my blade along the side of it, both sides, just run her down like that. Find our bottom. Get her underneath and then just slice down the bone. And that way I don't take anything off I don't want. Just run it right down, just like so. All the way down to that second knuckle down there. You got this guy right here. And we just pop him out. Just like that. And then, you are going to have this piece of cartilage. Always right here. So I'm gonna take that guy and I'm gonna carve him out of there as well. So we don't want nothing to do with that. Just like so. So now here we got our thigh, we got our chicken. I know a lot of guys, if you're, you know, if you're doing the comps and stuff like that, you'll pull the chicken off, you'll scrape the fat off. That's not gonna be necessary today. Just doing it that kind of style because I, uh, I want to, <laughs> and I think it's gonna be tasty because it gives you that nice bite through chicken and it's especially wonderful when it's buffalo. You know what I'm saying? So we take this guy right here, give her a little roll. You take all your excess skin and you use that to wrap it in a nice little bundle, just like so. Now doing comp, you're gonna to wanna to trim it up a little bit more, but we're just doing it comp style. This isn't competition. I just wanna cook it that way because I want that bite through skin. I want it soaking in our, our flavor and our buffalo sauce and all that other good stuff. So that's how we're gonna do them. Let me bang the rest of these out. All right, so we got them all trimmed up. Got them as pretty as they're gonna look without, uh, you know, getting too crazy on them. Got some meat meth here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the bottoms. Just open them up a little bit. So I wanna make sure I get that flavor everywhere. So we're just open them back up. Like so. cartilage. I don't want that to get mixed up in the good stuff. And I'm just going to dust them. Nothing crazy. Just the flavor. Thin thighs plus chicken takes on flavor. Super easy. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to dust these guys up. Just like so. Now, Kind of put them back together a little bit. They don't have to be super pretty unless you're trying to win something, you know what I mean? Feel me? So we're just gonna roll like that.
talkie talkie. Once you set these things on the smoker, they'll tighten up too, and they'll stay that shape. You have a nice, nice boneless thigh. Just cut right in, bite right in, whatever you want to do. I'm gonna hit my skin side a little bit heavier than I did on the flesh side. So, keep it honest. Use my sides here. Just pick up that leftover. A little rolly rolly. Perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna put these in a baggie. Cause I don't care, I'm not going for crispy skin. I'm going for just a nice flavor bite through. So we're just gonna plastic bag these and we're gonna let them chill for the day. Put them in the fridge. Nice little short, I guess, dry brine, I'm using the term loosely. Let that flavor do its thing. Just quick wash here. Just like so. Make sure we push our air out. That's that. So I'm going to let them sit. Let all that flavor just kind of soak in. Let it do its thing. And um, they're going to be in there for, for about four hours, four and a half, something like that. And uh, then we'll get the pit lit, toss them out there, get our potatoes on there. Just let everything spin. So, we'll be back. All right, guys. It's time to cook. So, I got uh, got the small cold bag going in uh, the beast. And I'm just going to get my potatoes put together real quick, real simple. This is what I do. I'm using a pan, uh, since I am putting them on the beast, I don't need them rolling all over the place, you know what I'm saying? Because they'll be spinning in there. So, in the pan, I'm just gonna do this a little, a little different than I normally do. Coat the bottom a little bit with some oil. Something high temp, something with a good smoke point. That's uh, grapeseed oil, avocado oil works, you know. Or your straight up OG ones. And then I'm just going to coat the bottom of the pan with a little salt. And then I'm gonna take my potatoes, move them around, catch a little bit, get them coated as well. Salt's gonna help crisp up that skin. Keep that skin nice and tasty, crispy. Yeah. And plus, potatoes love salt. Mm -hmm. coated real nice just like so some of them on there got them laying out bed of it missed the spot now just on the potatoes themselves give them a little sprinkle just for the stuff that didn't stick so now we got them on top the bottom that stuff's gonna smoke and we're gonna use that later so we're gonna have a little bit of smoked salt and oil too that's it. I'm just gonna let them sit. I got the chicken out right now. Oh, crap, I got loose. So, it's just warming up just a little bit. Nothing like room temp or anything like that. Just just out, maybe 20 minutes while I get the fire going. And then um, we'll get everything on there. Uh, like I said, we're gonna smoke the chicken first. Uh, I'm gonna run the pit today, 300. That's what I like to do my chicken at. And the way that thing works, I don't get more smoke when it's on lower. You know what I mean? I'm not rendering anything. All that stuff's gonna work out down the road in the pan, all that other good stuff. So um, mid, um, mid cook or so, probably after I flip my thighs, we are gonna make our, our buffalo concoction in the pan. Um, and we're gonna throw that on the pit as well. Let that come up to temp so we don't put our chicken in cold sauce. 
and then we're gonna finish our chicken in that, you know, kind of like a butter, rub, buffalo sauce kind of mixture. Essentially what you would do with, um, you know, comp chicken, you would, you know, add a little moisture to the pan, you put your sauce in there, you know, you spin them up, you know, let them sit in there, let them finish off in that pan, skin side down, and then that just creates that nice, um, that nice bite through skin, you know, nice and soft, even without scraping the fat off, we should still be able to accomplish it pretty well. You know, 300 degrees in the pan, everything like that should work out pretty good. So, all right, let's get out to the pit. All right guys, so we are ready. Just creeped up to 300, got her dialed, tossed in the pecan. Let's load it up, shall we? Let's feed the beast. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take my potatoes and I'm just gonna throw them guys over there. And then we're gonna take our chicken breasts, or I mean our chicken thighs, sorry. And to start these off, I am going to try and keep the shape the best I can. And I'm gonna put them flesh down just to set our rub, dry out the skin a little, all that good stuff. And then I will flip them over to help render the fat between the skin and the flesh. That'll help with that uh, bite through, you know what I'm saying? So we're just gonna toss them in there just like so. Make sure they got their nice shape and get her spinning, man. All right, so I'm just gonna let those go. Make sure my pain is on the side there. They're a little big. Last time I caught one on the lip, we're good. All right, and that's it. As you can see, only the showing that I lost three, well, four degrees upon putting the food in there. So the recovery is minimal. Even when I open the lid, how, why, I don't know, but it's a mystery. All right, guys, I'm gonna let them spin, let them go. As soon as I see that uh, that rub night, you know, set up real nice, things like that, then I'm gonna flip them over. And when we flip them over, we'll toss in our sauce compound that we're gonna make up in here. And then we're gonna do some corn on the cob as well. I keep that right in the, right in the husk. Um, Smoke actually can get through the husk. Uh, it will go through that way, uh, but it'll hold moisture at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So smoking in the corn husk is actually a great way to cook corn. It comes out full of flavor, nice and juicy, nice and moist, good stuff, man. So we're just gonna toss them on one of the racks, let them spin with everything else. So, all right, now we wait. All right, guys, it's been about, I don't know, hour, something like that. So still holding steady. It's time to toss our corn on. <clears throat> toss our pan on for our you know our mixture and uh flip our breasts over just give them a little set you know what i'm saying so feel me so let me stop this at, oh man i missed the rotation all right i'm gonna let that come back you know what actually let's throw the corn on we got all i did was take out uh some of the, you know, stragglers. So that way, uh, nothing catches, you know what I mean? I don't need corn husk burning in there. So we're gonna let that spin. And then uh, we're gonna flip our chicken over. Let that uh, skin rest on the grate. Let the, pre let the pressure of the thighs just kind of press it in. It'll render out some more of that fat. Kind of set everything just a little bit more. We got a nice crust to go, or nice um, set for our rub already going on on there right now. Looks super good from the last time I seen it come around. I'm gonna kick the potatoes around a little bit, and then right here we have our Hell Diver buffalo sauce, a little bit of our rub that we made, and uh, half a stick of unsalted sweet cream. So that's what we're gonna soak our chicken in. All right. Here we go here. I'm gonna give our potatoes a spin. 
and our salted smoke. Check our chicken out. Look at that. Come on, man. That looks good. That looks good, good. So, let me flip these. Try to keep them from falling apart on us. They're set up pretty good, though. Just like that. Beautiful. All right. Kick this guy back on. And then, on our next rack, once we catch it, we're going to get our sauce on there. Get this, let that butter melt in, let our sauce heat up, let everything get to temp. And that way we can baste our chicken in it and just lay that stuff in this pan and continue cooking. You know what I mean? So I'm going to throw this guy right here on this rack. Like I said, make sure... Uh, oh. That's, that's probably the pan that was actually catching the other day. Every time I heard it go by, I heard it go clink, clink. And I'm like, all I could picture was that thing tipping in there. But it's good to go. All right. Rock and rolling again. Check it out. All that time that that lid was open, we lost literally nothing. It was at 300 degrees. I don't know. It blows my mind, man. I mean, I get that the gauge is on the top, so, you know, but still. Anyway. All right. We're going to let that roll. All right, guys, I'm calling an audible here. I was gonna do, uh, I was just gonna throw the bacon in the carbon steel and get it done, but I figured, you know what? I'm gonna do it right on the rack, in here, let it smoke, let it slow roll, and I'm gonna put it over the potatoes. So, why not? Why dirty a pan when you don't have to? All right, let me give that back around here. I didn't thaw out any of my bacon, so I am using store-bought today, unfortunately, but it'll still be good. I'm all right with it. I'm not mad, even though mine is better. All right. So we're gonna do it right here. So that way, all that delicious uh, bacon is going to drip into our potatoes as well because why not? So I'm just gonna take these guys right here and we're just gonna lay them on and call it a day. If I can see without crying, because this thing is just blowing smoke at me. Might as well get some smoke, more smoke on this bacon too, right? And there ain't nothing ever been ruined from bacon grease dropping on it. Just like so. All right, like that guys. So now we got our bacon laying right over our potatoes next to our chicken and chicken's looking good isn't it look at that all right enough food porn now let's let it cook all right let's get our chicken in our bath shall we so first off i need this pan out Spinny, spinny. Let's make sure everything's mixed up real good, you know? We'll mix the rest up with the chicken. Because I forgot my spoon. Alright, let's kill him for a second. Let's take our chicken out. Look at that. Man, that looks good. So then what we're going to do is I'm going to get it down like that. Give her a spin, make sure she's tossed, and I'm gonna leave it skin side down in there. Make sure she's got a nice coat on it, skin side down. Just like so. All right. Yeah, let me spin this one one more time, just to make sure. All right. So there we are, 
Now we're just going to put these guys back in. Our potatoes, uh, our potatoes are definitely ready to go twice bake on them. Let me grab this glove though. All right. Now. All right. So I'm going to go in. You don't need to see me make twice baked potatoes. I'm going to hollow them out. I'm going to throw some cheddar in there. Get them creamy. We're going to restuff them and finish them back off when it's time. All right, guys. It is dinner time. Feel me? Man. Corn is looking good. So we're going to get these uh, potatoes off. We're going to get our chicken off. And uh, while I'm doing that, I'm just going to let that corn just continue to spin while I shut everything down just so it's you know just stays warm while I'm cutting up the chicken dressing them that kind of stuff you know need to have a manual thing on here where I can just go woo, 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 you know I guess it's not that big of a deal but all right these guys out oh man that's a potato for the masses forgot to add the smoke salt that we put in the bottom of the pan is what I added as my salt just I forgot to mention that I know I said salt but that's what I meant and there's our bird oh man all right so I'm gonna let this spin we choke it down and let's go get our uh, chicken cut into. All right, guys, let's do this. Here we got our, our thigh. Check this out. This one's gonna be mine, so I'm gonna go right down the center. Come on, look at that. Man. See what we're all about. Oh, damn. Super juicy. Tons of flavor. Check that out. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. Definitely needs some of the uh, blue cheese cream to cool her down, though. So, I right, guess. That's it. That's all I got.